goodness. This is for sure the most beautiful mosque we've been in. Hands down. When your horse has a flat tire. <laughs> and how different does this look to any other place we've been to in Morocco? Good morning everybody. Welcome back to Morocco. Yesterday we actually moved out of the Medina into New Town, which I'm sure as you can guess is a much newer part of Marrakesh and we've actually jumped onto a travel talk tours Morocco tour. We've never been on one of their tours before and it's about 10 days. So excited because we're going to see so much more of this country. Ready? Yes. I'm so excited. Let's go. We didn't see this last time, but wow, it's actually quite a bit of a grand entrance. to our first palace and it's the Bahia Palace. It's a 19th century palace and, and the architects are putting it together. They wanted it to be the most grandest palace of its time. So we just come into a courtyard and it's so nice because first of all there's a bit of green but it just opens up here. It really feels like a royal palace courtyard. I just want to design my house after the Moroccans. They really know how to design. They're so colorful and pretty. Like, look at this. Have you ever seen a palace like this before? No, I like, really like their use of tiles as yeah. well and, and the different colors. Alrighty guys, just after the palace we got hit with some bad weather and it started just pouring down like thunderstorms. It's kind of been on and off like that for the entire week. So we actually jumped in our bus and we're headed towards the coast. So we're heading towards a town called Essawaria, about three hours outside of Marrakesh and we're just at the viewpoint and we can see the city just in front of us. Um, maybe Morocco had amazing beaches. I know. What? Guys, welcome to the west coast of Morocco. We've just arrived in Essaouira. Yeah, that's pretty Essaouira. good. Essaouira. And this is one of the windiest places in the world. And he said that usually 310 days of the year it's windy. And this must be just one of those days where it's not windy. We are so lucky right now that we just come out to watch the sunset. Oh yeah, we're staying here. This is our hotel. Hotel Miramar, and as you can see, it's a very long walk to the beach. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't prepared for the, for the beach, for the sand today. I oh know, this is amazing. Alrighty guys, so we're currently staying in Newtown, and tonight we want to go and explore Old Town, which is called the Medina here. Just like in Marrakesh, Asira has its own Medina, and I can see the gate right now. The entrances are always so cool. It's literally like stepping back in time every time we go through these gates. They're filming the new Men in Black movie here. Yeah, they're doing another one. So they're using Morocco, well here, to film part of the movie and Chris Hemsworth is just here somewhere. But it's totally blocked out. There's like security and police everywhere but they're just filming a scene right behind us. Kind of cool. Good morning everybody. It's the next day here in Essaouira and we've just been thrown a curveball by the weather so you know us we love to go for a good old sunrise walk to show you guys around this is eight o'clock in the morning and it is pitch black Alrighty guys, we quickly ran over because we're like, no, we cannot not miss this fish market. Because of the weather, it's not like, like all the fishermen haven't really gone out, so all the boats are still here. But look at this, they all go out fishing in these blue boats. So they've all just lined up here. Look at this. I mean, wow, this looks just like a postcard shot here. On this side. There are so many boats. Wow. 
Alrighty guys, that's a very quick stop over here at this fishing village, but next stop is Casablanca. When your horse has a flat tire? <laughs> no! Oh my gosh, like literally, there's more horse and carts coming past than yeah, cars. Yeah. Alrighty, everybody, welcome to Casablanca and welcome to the fifth largest mosque in the world. we have ever been to. And a fun fact is, see this tower here? It's called a minaret. This is the largest minaret in the world. Seriously guys, the main attraction is this room. Oh my goodness. This is for sure the most beautiful mosque we've been in. Hands down. Like it is massive and it was a decent walk to get here. Like the actual grounds are huge. Have we been in a building huge. this big before? Look at this. It's humongous. Is it even picking up on camera? Like, that goes for so long, hundreds of meters down there. I'm trying to give you guys perspective of how big this is, because as always, the camera never does it justice, but... This is so grand. It's massive. So we just found out that this roof actually opens up. <laughs> I don't know how, but I really want to see how that happens. Welcome to Rabat. This is the capital city of Morocco and we're currently in the Kasbah which is like the Medina of the town and how different does this look to any other place we've been to in Morocco? Like the whites and the blues. The, I know, where's all the pinks and reds gone? How cool is this? Very Mediterranean <laughs> yeah, vibe. super Mediterranean. Like look at this door. So if you come outside the Medina you can see an amazing view of Rabat. This is such a unique capital city. Right yeah. on the water, we're still on the coast. So nice. Oh, there's a little doggy down there. Guys, why is nobody talking about Rabat? I mean, this city is so unique compared to all the other Moroccan cities that we've been to. It's like Mediterranean mixed in with the Arabic culture. And the best thing is there's nobody here. Like this Medina is so different to the other ones we've been to. The biggest thing is there's no crowds. Like you're walking around and you feel like you're not in Morocco at the moment. Like look, we do need to catch up to our, <laughs> to our group. has its very own gardens. You don't have to pay entrance or anything. Anyone can come and stroll through. I was looking for a piece of mind. It's a feeling that I tend to get. Won't rest until I make it right. Um. Welcome back to Morocco. We are currently in a town called Shepshuin and um, yes, this whole place is blue. Uh, I think. We 
found the spot. <laughs> wow. So we're actually really interested in why this place is blue. 